Hey guys, I'm going to show you a simple, easy, and safe way to remove fuel from generators or lawnmowers or boat tanks or even vehicle tanks. This will actually empty out a car tank. What I've got here is I've got your standard little fuel pump. And if you look there below the video, um, below whatever ads they throw on there, they'll be like the description of the video. And I'll show you where I got this one from. Not all of these are made the same. Some of these are a little different. And they'll come with a set of fittings in some cases, some cases they will not. Now, this came with the two little rubber hoses. And then what I put on it was this right here. And I've been using this for years, uh, 10 by 6.5. So six and a half millimeter internal 10 OD, so one centimeter. Now, this is easy to use. So what I'm gonna do here, and I might speed the video up to help, is I'll get into here. And here is my line for going into the tank. And that if you look at the pump, the tapered end of the pump is the inlet. And I'm gonna put it down inside and what i've done is i just took an old 16 gauge extension cord and used the black and the white on there i'm taking the other end and this size is has a little slack so it lets the air get by for this right here so it lets the air get by on it pretty good um i've also got a vented on the can a little vent in the back and you will be able to see here that all i need is to put me on a set of alligator clips these have been around for a long time this unit has been used for probably draining of fuel tanks of cars um, i put about 15 feet on this end and it'll pull it no problem uh, self priming and this way you can hook this up to the car battery using nothing but a little 16 gauge wiring because it only pulls about an amp and a half and on my wall here i have power 12 volt and you can listen. Heard how it kind of started priming. And that's already primed. And this is a long line here. This is about a 10 footer. And this one over here is about 10 feet. And I just mounted on a board just like I've done here. And you will hear. Let's see, I pull it out carefully. It is pumping gasoline so not a smart thing to make a mess but that'll dry up so this way you can empty out your generators or you can empty out your gasoline tank on your car so if you have a fuel pump to change out and this is only about 20 bucks for the whole thing to do all of this and I have uh, I have been salvaging fuel out of the tank of this generator to run in my equipment in my big mower why I run to the store um, you can also fill up instead of carrying gas cans like that to your store you can also take and go ahead and disconnect we can also you can also take and put this down and this will get past your springs and theft restrictors and whatever in your most cars but you can shove that in your gas tank of your car and instead of carrying a jerry jug in a nice car, an automobile, you don't want to get fuel in it and stink it up with gasoline. Instead of doing that, you can just fill your gas tank up, at, you know, in town or at the gas station and come home and from this directly fill up your lawnmowers, your snow, mo snow blowers, your whatever. So pretty simple setup. I do believe that this would help just about anybody, and it is self-explanatory. And these are just wire clips you get at Home Depot um, for pinning down the tubing on it. All right, hope that helps some guys out. Pretty nice setup.